What's up, guys, and welcome back to some more Cafe Owner Simulator. If you're excited to see more from this game, make sure you leave a like in the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. I know in the previous episode, we really just kind of did a tutorial. Just we're trained on a bunch of things. So I'm really curious to see where, uh, where it actually takes us today. First order business is going to be serve 20 customers. And then it also says to hire a cashier. Wait, we can hire a cashier? Dude, that's huge. So we don't even have to stand here the whole time. I'm definitely on the right tab, but I don't see anything on here that has to do with cashiers specifically. So I think I'm just going to pay the headhunter $30. And maybe if we hire one of these people, we'll be able to get them to work the cashier. I, I have no idea. Maybe that is just a little outdated, but let's see who we have down here. We kind of need to act quick, don't we? Abby, Sam, or Mark? I'm thinking let's go with Sam. The most expensive out of the three options, but probably the best performer. Now, if we just click on our cash register, we should be able to assign an employee. That kind of seems like it's locked at like level five and we're currently at three. So why are you asking me to do this right now, dude? We're not even ready for that. Also, there are no customers. Why are there, why are there no customers? Do we at least still have Danny Boy? Okay, we've still got Daniel, so that's good. Here I am wondering why we haven't got a single customer in hours now, and it's because we're closed. So now that we're open, we should actually start to see a few people at least walk through that door. But as for the, the cashier thing, we're still not able to do that, so... We'll just have to serve a couple of people on our own. And then after we hit level five, we'll be able to assign our employee that we're probably paying even though they aren't even here yet. Also, our trash is full. So 45 bucks this time. That's not too bad. I wonder if it's, cause it was only 90% full. I wonder if it's at max capacity, then you'd pay $50. Maybe that's why it was discounted. This cat just meowed for no reason. Nobody was out here scratching it, dude. Cats are getting pet by ghosts and stuff. What a weird place. All right, we've got our first lady approaching the counter now, though. Hopefully, she orders something uh, fairly easy for old Danny boy to cook up. We've got the Lazog. All right, that's going to be here. Lazog, done. Now, we just have to wait for Daniel to do his thing, and we can go serve it to the lady, dude. Feels, feels good to be back. Really does. Hey, hey, sir. Welcome to uh, Cafe 2G. I guess that's the name of this establishment. You also would like a lasagna. Okay, hang out just a second for me. I uh, gotta wait for Daniel to finish doing whatever it is he's doing. Probably, probably boiling noodles, if I had to guess. There it is. All right, ready orders. And sir, I will be right with you. Give me one sec. Just gotta serve that up to the lady. There you are. All right, we've got quite a few footprints, actually accumulating already so another lazog danny boy if you wouldn't mind thank you so much wait 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 is that different lady totally different lady sorry ma'am you know what we really need is more seating if we're uh if we're gonna take on more customers and stuff and things or whatever we should probably get some better seating so uh from what i understand actually about seating obviously you can tell that there are four seats but only one person will sit down at a time so it doesn't even really make sense for us to buy the the four seated uh table and chairs i think what we should do instead is just get like the two seaters because they'll probably take up less space as well thank you so much danny boy we're gonna go serve this to the guy and then i think we're actually gonna close so we can kind of reconstruct our interior here you know change a few things around all right that needs to get taken out that was stanking up the place hey sir how's it going I was actually about to close things down, but since you're here, I guess we'll just keep going. We need a pepperoni pizza stat, Daniel. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Appreciate the business. Let's grab the Skrilla. Clean up a little bit of the trash on the table there. All right, sir, pizza is coming. Daniel is finished. There it is. All right, ready orders. Grab the pepperoni and we'll deliver it to the dude. So even though dude is still in here, we're actually, if I hit tab again, we're actually closed now. I was able to close it and the customers didn't leave immediately. So that's good. At least now we know that we can do that. It turns out that the, oh no. Oh no, we've got another homeless guy out here. Um, but the entire cafe needs to be empty and also closed before we can, you know, adjust any of the interior stuff. So, hey buddy, 
No, I'm not trying to scare you off. Can you just talk to me, please? Bud. Bud, I could have... I could have given you 15 bucks. You didn't have to run away. Now he's going to come back and throw rocks at our windows and shatter them out. Anywho, now that everything is closed and the, and the cafe is empty, let's click on this. And then I'm just going to sell these. Like I said, it doesn't really make sense for us to have four seaters. So since that is done, back into Ava Zone. I think I'm going to go with the two seater right here. There's also like a wooden table now available and a couple of other things. I think I saw a bean bag in here. So maybe we could create a lounge type area so customers wouldn't just come in and leave because we have no seating for them. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention to how many I was placing down. It looks like we have five up here now in total. Again, two seaters instead of four. I think it'll be a little bit better for us. Danny, Daniel, brother, prepare yourself, okay? Because we're about to open up and I think it's going to get pretty hectic pretty quick. Here we have our first lady walking in. I guess it is almost 5 a.m., so probably not the best time to be open for business already. Let's go with a pepperoni pizza for the lady. Thank you so much. Have a seat. Order up. Pepperoni pizza doesn't really take all that long to make. Thank you so much. Enjoy your food. All right. Next in line, a margarita pizza. That's going to be this one right there. Perfect. We'll get Daniel right on it. Thank you so much. Go have a seat. Which reminds me, I forgot to try to put down the little, like, uh, beanbag chairs and stuff. It's fine. We'll do it. Uh, we'll do it later. Oh, hang on, sir. Bear with me for a moment, okay? Uh, we got to wait for Daniel to finish that dish. And now we can take your order. Thank you so much for being so patient. Another Lazog, Daniel. Another Lazog. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy your day. We got to take this margarita pizza, which is actually a pepperoni pizza, out to this lady right here. Thanks so much. And then we've got some Skrilla. Excellent. Hey, what's going on, sir? How you doing? Again, got to wait for Daniel to finish the Lazog, and then I can help you out. This guy wants some taters. There you are, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, and that order is ready. The Lazog. Here you are, sir. Enjoy your Lazagna. This guy would like some more taters. There you are, sir. And we've got this order. Oh, hello, sir. You're a completely different person now. This order is for you. Some taters. Enjoy the food and stuff and things. We've got some Skrilla. Okay, I need to make sure I'm picking up trash, too. Gotta keep my eye out for the trash. Let's go ahead and put that in the dumpster. And you also want mashed potatoes. Dude, is that like the favorite of everyone all of a sudden? Let's grab these. Hey, ma'am, I'll be right with you. As soon as I can be, anyways. That goes to you, I thought. Why you no take food? Why you no take order? Sir? Um, do I not have mashed potatoes in my hand? Is this for you? It's for you, apparently. Okay, that's that's my bad. That You know what? That makes sense. Because that guy did just sit down, did he not? Thank you so much, Daniel. We've got another one. And then you... Oh, I can't open that up. Hang on. Be right back. Be right back. This goes to you. There we go. All right. We're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. Nine out of 20 customers served, you guys. This, this is going to take a while. Another pepperoni pizza. And another one after that to make more orders at once by more kitchen tables and hire employees. We do have another employee sort of on the back burner. I wonder I wonder if we shouldn't just buy another kitchen table. Okay, ma'am. Wow, we are starting to get a line. Now I can help you out. You also needed a pepperoni pizza. Let's grab the ready one and we'll take it to this lady who's already waiting. Dude, we've got cash on the tables. All right, got that one. Got this one. We're doing good. We're doing good. Falling behind, but honestly, it's kind of Daniel's fault. What can I get you, sir? Another margarita pizza. We love to see it. All right. Danny boy is really cranking out the pizzas today and the mashed potatoes. I think this goes to you, right? It's kind of confusing, though, because visually it is a pepperoni pizza, but she had ordered a uh, margarita. Oh, no. Oh, no. The homeless dude is back. Okay, man. I will give you... 80 
It used to be just 15. Hey, manager, I used to have a restaurant, and my staff used to feed the bums from our neighborhood, but then I lost it all. Now I have become a bum myself. It's my birthday soon. Just remember that this month, I want to invite my friends Marco, John, and Dennis. I don't know why that information is important to us. Uh, we want to buy vodka and delicious appetizers. Help set the table, my dear friend. You know what? I'm feeling pretty generous right now. I will give you 80 bones. Don't you forget this moment, okay? I want you to remember this next time we see you. Okay, we've got a line. Hang on, that lady is about to leave. No, she's mad. She's mad and there's a super loud flyover again. I am so sorry, ma'am. I am extremely sorry. We've got to serve that to that dude. Come back to the line. It's fine, she's still here. No harm done. I just want to serve these 20 customers and then we'll close everything down and, and sort of reorganize again. This gentleman would like a pepperoni pizza. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the business. And then we have some mashed taters for that lady. There you are. All right, some trash, some dollar bills, and some more dollar bills over here. Okay, we're at 2,300 bucks. Not too terrible. Oh, trash must be at least 50% full to empty. That kind of makes sense. Ma'am, we will be with you shortly. She wants taters, unsurprisingly. Everyone's favorite dish, that and pizza. We, we basically only serve mashed potatoes and pizza at this point. Five more customers to go though, we've got this. Our first order of turkey, I believe that's in here. They just want a whole turkey dinner. Have at it, be my guest. Wait, what is that? Why is there... Why is there a fire truck here? Hello? Uh, can I help you with something? Oh, you're just coming to eat. All right, well, we have quite the line at the moment. So, I mean, you're more than welcome to stand in line if you really, really want to. Daniel, we got another order for mashed potatoes. He just finished the turkey dinner. Let's go in and take that to this guy. Wait, what? Fire inspection result. Oh, we passed. It also says to check our smoke detectors periodically. Okay, good to know, good to know. Here you are, sir. Sorry for the slight delay there. All right, we've got cash on this table, cash and trash on that one. Level four. Here are your taters, enjoy that. And I'll uh, clean up the trash off your table. Okay, this is stanking again. Let's get rid of that. Daniel, we got another lazog, another lazog. And then a turkey dinner. That's gonna go up here to this gentleman. Thank you so much for waiting. Appreciate the patience and stuff and things. One more customer. One more. Another mashed potatoes, Danny boy. Another mashed potatoes. Let's grab this lazog and bring it to the nice construction worker over here. Upgrade your restaurant to receive additional orders to restore and furnish other cafes. And restaurants, what? I thought this was the only one, dude. That's kind of cool. You'll receive cash, rewards, new fittings, experience, yada, yada, yada. That is excellent news, dude. I didn't realize that we could get like different uh, buildings, different facilities and stuff. That's really cool. Okay, uh, since that was our last customer, I think I'm actually just going to close things down. At the top of the email app on your tablet, you'll see progress bar. Progress reaching new missions. Got you. Okay, first let's close. Uh, sorry, everyone that was in line. Kind of just sprung that on you. Let's have a look at our email now from Builder Pro. Hi, I saw your ad in the Castle Lake post. My wife and I are... What was that? Oh, it was just the lady leaving, dude. I was like, why did the door just open and close? It was kind of spooky. My wife and I are planning to open a cozy cafe on the outskirts of town, but don't know where to start. We need your help. We need to take out all the trash, make repairs, and furnish the interior. Can you help us with that? We'll pay you well. That sounds really interesting. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Uh, but we should be able to just kind of save the email and, and do that whenever we need to. Before we start helping other people, I think we should probably learn how to help ourselves first. So we're going to come out here and just rake up the leaves that we can see. Then we'll head back inside and we'll start reorganizing our own cafe. I decided to send Daniel home for the rest of the day just while we're trying to figure things out here. So as for our menu, I don't want to change anything that we're offering, but I want to change the prices. So over here it says the red price indicator would equal a high price. Green is low. Yellow is optimal. So 
ideally i just want to increase these until they're yellow moving over to the food store i just want to make sure that we have all the ingredients that we'll need so products for dishes with less than five items are going to be highlighted in red like this onion here and then this indicator obviously indicates that we have a dish that uses this ingredient so i'm just gonna buy another box of onions right there say boyas and uh we'll come out here and pick them up put them into our little freezer now then we have thirty eight hundred dollars to our name a big issue for us at the moment is daniel's not able to keep up with the demand of our customers so what i think we need to do since we've already employed another person is just find out how expensive another one of those kitchen tables actually is. Only 250 bucks, dude. And this is the new one. We still have the the old crusty one right here. So let's grab maybe two of the of the new ones then. That only brought us down to $3,400 now. So I'm thinking we just continue buying some new stuff here. Maybe a new refrigerator. Couldn't hurt. Looks like we'll be able to unlock a new oven at level five, which we're a out there and i just noticed out of the corner of my eye one of our smoke detectors has gone bad i guess all you can do is sell it and just buy a new one there's no option to repair and now there's a rat dude okay hang on f we need our nets come here buddy come here there we go all right we gotcha we gotcha and then what is this cockroaches hang on there's probably there's probably a new tool for this Let's go into the tool store. There sure is. There sure is. Cockroach Exterminator. 3,000. Are you sure you want to buy? Absolutely. freaking lootly We need this. All right, just hold. And then slowly but surely, they'll all disintegrate into nothing. All right, last thing I want to do as far as customization goes for the cafe. Just have a look at the floor. It's not great. It's really not. So we're going to open up Ava Zone again under flooring and we're just going to try to find anything else what about a herringbone wood floor Ooh, that's that's kind of yellow orangey i don't i don't really dig that whatsoever this one in the catalog looks a little bit more red and it's dude they're just so bright why are they so bright they don't even look real in the slightest bit maybe we just go for like concrete i mean that's better but still very bright this is the one I got a good feeling about that. Actually, I think that is the one. So we'll just go around and uh, beat the devil out of the floor with this here sledgehammer. And in no time at all, we'll have a fancy new floor. No, no, not again, dude. How frequently do they come? I mean, at least we're closed. He's not going to have to wait in line for, for very long. So that's good news. And we've already fixed this one smoke detector. So we should be good then unsurprisingly we passed again with flying colors thank you so much sir enjoy the rest of your day we're just gonna keep hammering our floor don't mind us wait what's this about did you hear the news about the horrible monster that's roaming around locals say they've seen a monster that looks like bigfoot we're getting a lot of calls about missing cattle also there's a missing alan williams his wife says he went hunting in the woods and never came home the mayor promises a reward for information about the monster's whereabouts or his picture how do they know it's a him a reward of $2,000. If you can get a picture of him, send it to us. Take care. Interesting. Very interesting. Even if we did see a monster that, you know, loosely resembled Bigfoot, I'm not sure that I could take a picture of him because like in our tablet, there's no option in here for a camera. I don't think, unless I've just missed it. Oh, there is, but we have to be level seven. Why would they even tell us about something that we're not high enough level to do? Oh no. Oh no. You again, dude. I gave you 80 bucks the last time. And again. And again, he wants 80 more dollars. Um, just, just so you don't smash our windows, here's 80 bucks. The next thing I want to work on is just trying to get both of our employees stationed at these kitchen tables. So we'll go down to assign an employee. And then Daniel will put him at his, you know, original station, though it is upgraded now. And Sam, we're going to put at this location. Hopefully we can employ the two of them at the same time. We sure can. All right, dude, that is going to help a ton. So tablet again. Let's open things up. I think we're ready to go. We've already got our first customer and he would like the turkey dinner. There you are. Even though it's like early, it's it's 1 a.m. 
it's 1 a.m. This dude stumbles in off the streets and orders a turkey dinner. What a legend. Hey, ma'am, how's it going? What can we get you today? The Lazog. All right, look at this. Now we can do two orders at one time. Love that. Love that. Love that. These two, they may end up fighting over the refrigerator and the stove. So that could be a problem. But apart from that, I think this will end up working out pretty well. Oh, hey, what's going on, man? Uh, give me just a moment. Gotta wait for at least that one to be done. And you want a margarita pizza. Perfect. So we've got Daniel and Sam now, right? So you're Sam and you're Daniel, if I remember correctly. You both look identical, so that's gonna be real, real difficult. We've got the turkey dinner, though, going up here to this gentleman. There you are, sir. Appreciate the business, enjoy the food and stuff and things, and then we need a mashed tater. There we go. Grab the Lazog. Hey, miss, what's going on? Lazog goes to you, table 30. Dude, see the orders are coming up. I guess we don't actually have to walk all the way around, do we? That's kind of a kind of a waste of time. Another lasagna order and margarita pizza go into this gentleman. There you are. I like the tats, dude. Very sick. Very sick. There's a lot of good variety um, in between, you know, our our clientele, which is which is good to see. Uh, there's no place for a customer to sit down. Right, so we're back to our original problem with not enough seating. Got another turkey dinner coming right up. Thank you so much, mashed taters. Hang on, sir, I will be right with you. Taters go to you. And then Lazog, gotta take care of the trash right quick. Okie dokie, garbage removal, 35 bones. It gets cheaper and cheaper every time we do it. But let's grab the next thing. Ready orders. Lazog is going out to this lady. Thanks so much. Got to make sure we keep grabbing our cash too and, and clearing off the the trash here. Uh, we got to wait for the got to wait for the garbage removal guys to uh, to finish up. No big deal. No big deal. Can we get another turkey? Another turkey going, please. Ready dishes. Come on, boys. Come on. Now we can take care of the stanky trash in here. Got to make sure that gets thrown away too. More trash. More cash. Love it. Okay, we're still getting a line, though. So, I don't think the problem was entirely Daniel after all. Gotta get another tater and another turkey. Perfect. Hey, thanks for the help today, boys. I really appreciate it. Turkey is probably gonna go to you. We're gonna need another lasagna, boys. Another lasag. Let's take our taters up to... Oh, no. Oh, that one right above me. Incredible. What convenient timing. Okay, this, uh, gotta sell. And then Ava Zone. Oh no, I've gotta close it just to do that? Okay, you know what? We're kinda running out of time today anyway, so let's just go ahead and close the restaurant down. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so incredibly sorry. But hey, we're making some decent money, paying our employees as best we can. Let's grab the turkey dinner and take it up to this lady right here. Let me grab that coffee cup from you, ma'am. And then you just need Lazog. Here you are, ma'am. Enjoy your Lazog. We'll grab the cash off of that table as well. Clean up the footprints real quick. And then I think we'll be done for the day, dude. One minute, 37 seconds later. Wait, what? Sometimes natural disasters such as tornadoes and hurricanes occur. You're joking, right? At the end of our day today, we're getting a, a hurricane or a tornado or whatever this is. Probably... Mm, I don't know. It doesn't really look hurricane-esque. I'm thinking... I'm thinking more along the lines of a tornado. Wouldn't you agree, ma'am? Yeah, she knows what's up. Before I forget, I gotta install a new smoke detector right up there. Dude, this is loud. Okay, you two dudes, let me go into management. Uh, get off the job, right? That's how we do that. Wait, what is pay premium? Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so Sam, go ahead and uh, get off the job again. Let's reassign Danny Boy here. So Danny Boy, his motivation is like zero. It, it's probably past zero. So if we pay the premium, his motivation kind of returns. And now that that crazy storm has passed, we're going to have to go around and make a few repairs. Got a new window going in right here. And I'm sure there are probably quite a few others. No? Oh, this one for sure. And probably some upstairs too, but, you know, we, we can't really change those just yet. There was also the foundation. Oh, yeah, we've got a couple of missing slabs over here. So 
We'll get some new foundation pieces slotted in, and then we'll probably have to climb up on the roof as well and just make sure that, you know, everything's A-OK -okay up there. This side seems fine. This side seems fine. What about down here? Oh, there it is. All right, we've just got to repair this one roof panel, and the deed is done. So then, I think that seems like the perfect spot for us to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.